Hey, I'm hearing a lot of good things about how you're getting along with everyone. Thanks, Coach. I'm just trying to fit in, you know? It's working. Too many young guys come in with the wrong attitude, like they got something to prove. I overheard you on the plane the other day. That'll go a long way towards getting the rest of the team behind you. If they know you aren't just chasing your own numbers and you're committed to helping this team win, they'll be on your side no matter what. Man, I hope so. It'd be great to be a starter on this team, you know? I just wanted to come under the right terms. I, I don't want any drama. That's a good thing. Wait, what? Why is he taller than I am? In a couple videos ago, he couldn't even look me in the eye when he was speaking. Now he's taller than me? You just keep doing your thing. I got a lot of confidence in your game and your potential as a teammate, especially lately. If you ever need anything, you just let me know. I'm here to help. Thanks, Coach. Really means a lot coming from you. For sure. I hit the showers. I gotta get back to this game tape. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Listen, I'm gonna be up front with you here. We took your request to be moved seriously. Wish you could have stuck with us longer, but we all know this is a business. Your request has been granted. You've been traded to the Detroit Pistons, effective immediately. The representative from their team will be in touch with you shortly to talk about the next steps. Thanks for your time here. And really, best of luck moving forward. When he break down your team, it's like you stiff as a board and got no rhythm. Your shots got no lift in it. Get blocked like an Olympic flip. Cross you out your socks on some ninja shit. Ankle bully, crossover breaking your ankles fully. Ligaments popping, it's funny. You got the thing for me. It's entertaining, so hot you can't cool them all. You cannot stop the human taunts. Look who you rooting for. That is the loser dog. All up in his ass while he is taking the dookie pose. Yeah, shake down 2012. Come in this direction if you haters really want to fail, yeah, lay down for the shake down, yeah, uh. It is great to finally have you here. Please, have a seat. I want you to know I can speak for this entire organization when I say how thrilled we were to acquire you. We think you've got a lot to offer this team and we cannot wait to get you out in front of those amazing fans. Thanks. Yeah, it was definitely time for a change of scenery. I can't wait to help this team win some games. Good. Well, I'm going to take you down to meet the uh, coach and the rest of the team. But before we do that, I had our media team prepare a little video for you. I want you to think of it as our way of saying, welcome to the team. All right. Welcome to the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. A city with a rich history, the heart of the U.S. automotive industry, and the birthplace of the Motown sound, Detroit has weathered change and stands poised for a new day. The Pistons are a team deeply ingrained in the city's fabric, representing toughness and a blue-collar work ethic. Multiple NBA championships over the decades demonstrate the organization's culture of excellence. And now, time to meet your fellow Pistons at point. Brandon Jennings, one of the quickest guys in the league, can explode for points on any given night. At the two guard, Rodney Stuckey, a born slasher who can get to the rim at will and finish with power. At the three spot, Josh Smith, one of the scariest sights on the floor if he's coming at you on a fast break and is menacing as a shot blocker. At the power forward position, Luis Scola, so many tricks in his bag, always able to fool a defender down on the block. And at center, Greg Monroe, a do-it-all big man who can finish inside or set up a teammate. True Blue Pistons, we work as one. So you are willing to do the interview, right? Sure, no problem. You do realize I, I have a YouTube channel and I'll be sharing this with my viewers, right? I'm sure everyone wants to know what issues we're having and what we're doing to fix them. So what up 2K fans? I have a highly anticipated exclusive interview with one of 2K Sports computer networking systems CNS server operator. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Hamlin Roden. I have been working for 2K Sports for six years since 2008. I was hired on right out of college. I'm I'm with the tech support team at Take-Two Interactive, and I also work part-time for healthcare.gov. My resume is flawless. 
So what's your history with 2K? Were you there during the lag and server crashes for the team up mode in 2009? Absolutely. I I was tired that year. My, my legs weren't fully developed just yet and I had trouble operating my wheel. The wheel? Is this some sort of electronic switchboard or patch panel that your IT department maintains or was maintaining at the time? Precisely. Uh, however, it's an actual wheel. People would be surprised to know that our entire server infrastructure is powered by a wheel that I physically operate on a daily basis. Wow, okay. I'm, I'm a little confused. You know, I don't work in IT, so <laughs> I guess we'll just come back to that. Where are you from? Uh, I sense an accent. I'm from New Hampshire. I didn't really know my parents, but I have 13 siblings. Wow. <laughs> do, do any of them work in IT? All of them do. In fact, some of them work alongside me at Take Two. So, what exactly is the problem with the servers? I mean, 2K Sports, they put out their franchise AAA title every year. And since 2009, there have been an unbelievable, like, unacceptable amount of online connectivity issues that, that have absolutely ruined the gaming experience for thousands of NBA 2K fans. Well, the truth is... I have short legs, and they don't feed me as often as I would like them to. For some reason, they limit my water intake, and Take-Two doesn't offer any medical benefits. Some of us have gone on strike, and as in the situation that took place at the end of the month, a lot of us are just simply not willing to work under these conditions. <laughs> well, once again, I'm a little confused. Your legs? I mean, what, what does the length of your legs have to do with it? I work on the wheel. In order to power the generator that operates the patch panel, governing the server architecture outputting connectivity to the tens of thousands of users on our database, I physically have to run the wheel. When you say physically run the wheel, what exactly do you mean? I mean I work inside of a wheel with a diameter of 35 centimeters, which is 14 inches tall, over 23 centimeters, which is about 9 inches wide. I run inside this wheel and the energy produced by my physical input, in short, powers the panel. 14 inches tall, 9 inches wide, a wheel? Are you indicating that you are some sort of a hamster? Well, yes! 2K wouldn't have it any other way! Wait, so... You've been there since 2008. Were you responsible for the lag issues and the server crashes of NBA 2K9? for the My Team mode? We all were. As I said before, we were tired that year, you know, being fresh out of school. Well, what about 2009 for NBA 2K10? The, the lag and the desync issues we suffered through during the first year with crew mode. We were dealing with a lot of illegal employment policies. A lot of the workers and employment practices Take Two was involved in were prohibited under national law. The majority of those issues were eventually swept under the rug. So for NBA 2K11, when we had to change the global region of our consoles, you know, in order to connect for crew games, that was you guys. The issues in 2K11 had nothing to do with us hamsters. That was the mice they fired us for in hopes for cheaper labor. It's actually the sole reason they had to remove crew altogether from NBA 2K12 and 2K13. When they realized that the mice weren't as efficient, it took two years for them to convince us to come back. Multiplayer was almost completely irrelevant for 2012 and 2013 without crew. Now that the demand for multiplayer is more prominent than ever with these next-gen consoles, they, they needed us back. And, and trust me, it wasn't easy for them to meet our demands. You, you have to understand that it's hard for me to come to terms with the fact that the 2K servers are essentially powered by hamsters. Well, that's, that's why we're here, right? to put this all out in the open. Well, so what's the problem now? Like 2K launched, they got all the praise from seasonal reviewers and there's enough eye candy as far as the eye can see. At its core, it's a phenomenal game that us hardcore yearly 2K supporters, you know, slash gamers can't wait to get our hands on. Why is the online connectivity issue a problem yet again? It's simple. I'm a hamster. If the server crashes and you're unable to get online, just know that we're working as hard 
It's not little legs can handle. Truth is, I don't come to your job and demand you to work harder. I don't hover over your desk and ask you to work weekends so you can get them TPS reports in on time. At the end of the day, it's hard physical labor, borderlining slavery up in that bitch. You lazy gamers just sit there in your underwear with your little controllers, your your five hour energy drinks, complaining that your chubby ass fingers can't get into a video game when your fat asses should be outside playing the real sport. I mean, you guys keep complaining and we'll shut this shit whoa, down. Whoa, 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 Hamlin, Hamlin. Calm down, man. I'm just asking the questions. I'm sorry, Ham. You know how it is. I've got the 2K Dez breathing down my back and we've got gamers taking shots at us. It's a tough life, you know? Ham? You, you, you called me Ham. Yeah, well, we don't say man like you humans. We say Ham, short for hamster. You know, the kind of thing we say to the homies. You know what I mean. Right, right, right. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. A full interview with Hamlin Roden, Computer Networking Systems Server Administrator for 2K Sports. I, uh, I hope that helps everyone understand the situation, and I hope that makes some sense to you guys. Your boy Shake, hope you enjoyed the footage. And I'll, I'll holla at, at you dudes, dudes later. Forget about going for the long range bomb to cut into that. <laughs> oh no, no, no. This video is far from over. As you can see, I've been traded to the Detroit Pistons, where I'm consistently dunking on them. Very happy to be here. And as always, at the beginning of the video, you saw me playing at the park it's where i go to warm up and it's you know to play with the crew even though it's not crew mode because there is no substitute for crew there's no way to legitimately play this multiplayer mode with your friends without the the, the possibility of being you know dealing with some some connectivity issues and people taking your spots it's just it's just not a good substitute for crew at all um, but I am in, I am fairly enjoying myself playing my career mode when it's working. You know, we are all dealing with all sorts of server problems, server issues. I remember I put out a tweet where I said that, you know, what happens? You know, what happens when you can't play your my career mode? I, right now, I, I have a substitute for the whole game. I have to play Battlefield 4. And for those of you guys that may be new to my channel, I am an advocate, you know, Battlefield 4 player now. You know, I... I, it sucks that it has to be this way that the game that I know and love, 2K, is just not working properly all the time. And I wish that there was a something that I could do or something that I could say to fix that. But that's not a problem that any of us could really address other than suggesting that they find a new company or carrier to, you know, handle those those the IT aspects of you know the server connectivity and the infrastructure of their of their their servers. I, I don't know what to do. Um, all we can do is sit back. A lot of people are sending me messages saying that they have been told to contact 2K support. I've been told to do the same thing. <laughs> um, I really don't have an answer for the problems that we're dealing with uh, in terms of the, the server connectivity. And, you know, I, I, I saw this coming. I, I did a video early on where I said, you know, look at 2K's history. Understand that we're going into a whole new architecture with the new, con the new consoles. And, there's a lot of potential for there to be a, a, a plethora of issues. And, you know, I said this, you know, assume that there will be tremendous there will be a tremendous amount of problems and you won't be as pissed off when they actually arrive. And unfortunately, this is something that I know all too well with this series and we've dealt with it over the years. And since this is the case, I, you know, I don't get too aggravated. The thing I get aggravated with the most is just the inability to play the multiplayer mode. And as you can see right here, <laughs> the Washington Wizards, man, Reza, he gave me so many problems hitting that three-pointer to still lose by one point. But I uh, look forward to the next video. So, here's the update. Coach was ready to put you in for the next game, but I told him not to rush it. I want to see a few more games, make sure you're ready. So I'll be starting in the next few games? Yeah, it's looking that way. You've been playing really well lately. And we really like the way your game is continuing to develop. Hey, thanks. I'll keep working hard and just tell Coach I'm ready to go whenever he calls my number. Of course, and you'll probably hear this from him too, but based on our previous conversation, 
I thought it was a good idea for me to keep you up to date. Hey, I appreciate you having faith in me. Man, I feel like I'm ready to go out there right now. Hey, don't worry. I'll make sure I do everything I can so you're not disappointed. Great. Just keep up the good work. Hey, thanks. When I first heard him say that, I, I was confused. I was like, are, am I starting in the next game or am I not starting? What, what's going on here? Just know that Detroit is showing me a lot of love. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. It's your boy Shake. I'll holla at you dudes later.